What is going on everyone? This is Ancap24 from Playbook GG, and today we're going to start a new mini scheme out of the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook using the Gun Doubles Halfback Week formation. Now if this is the first time checking out our channel and you want to win more games playing Madden, hit that subscribe button below. Don't forget to also click that bell icon to make sure you never miss any of our videos. So the play we're going to be looking at in this video is called Slot Shake. Really like this play, it's only found in two playbooks, that's going to be the Steelers and the Dolphins. And the reason why is for this X receiver. He is one of those routes that's very similar to Pat Sale, where basically instead of a post, it's actually kind of like an inverted corner route. And the reason why I like this is because we can put him in a position that's a little bit more um, in a better spot in order to make this work. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our Y receiver, which is a slot receiver, and we're going to motion him left. I said left, not right. When I motion him left, he actually scoots in and he actually has the X scoot in with him. That's gonna be very important to this play. What I'm gonna do here is I'm going to basically max protect, and that just goes ahead and gets those guys to both block at the same time. Then I'm gonna take the Y, put him on a flat, A on a streak, and then B on a slant. So this is Pat Sale in basically a nutshell. What you're trying to do here is create a diversion to where the user has to pick which one he wants to defend. Does he want to find the, the B that goes across or does he want to defend the X? This will beat all coverages. So watch what happens here. I can go ahead and just look at the B or the X. This time I'm going to choose the B and you're going to see that he's going to get open, right? Next time I'm going to choose the X. Again, all you're going to do here, you can, you can start off by max protecting, putting the B on a slant, A on a streak, and then Y on a flat, move him over. So it's basically, depending on however you want to do the, the, um, the, the sequence, you can do it however you want. This time we're going to look at the X. X is going to go across the field. You're going to see that he's going to clear everybody, and you're going to be able to throw it to him. Both these routes, where they are, will definitely get over your cloud flats when you go against cover two. When you go against your cover threes, it doesn't matter if it's hard flat, cloud flat, curl flat. They're all going to be very, very similar for you. Move this guy over, put him on that. And it's going to end up looking like this. Again, which this is going to be hard flat coverage. You're going to see that the B is going to be open. And when you against cover three, because they match that one player, um, I'll show you an instant replay. You're going to get a lot of yards off of this, right? So basically, if you look at this player right here, that player that's on above him, that, that corner, he's going to match him across the field all the way to about the um, hash marks. And he's going to turn. So actually, he went right to the middle of the field. He turns. We're going to be able to, to throw it to that player up the field and have some great success. That's why this play works really well against cover three and cover two, right? So uh, I'll just go ahead and do cover three again. And same uh, setup again. Y, motion left, put him on a flat, block your running back, put the A on a streak, B on a slant. And then you're going to just say, you know, basically go ahead and look at that. See how the B goes ahead. Nobody's on him. And you're going to have a really great opportunity for some great yards and whatever you want to do after the play. But they're going to have to change their defense in order to make this work. It beats cover two and cover three. You're going to see a lot of cross man, a lot of different other things that they have to do in order to worry about those players. And then we're going to kind of go show you some other plays that in this formation that we like to kind of use that to their aggressiveness and kind of get some easy throws as well. So this is the main play of this. This is kind of the one that you use to get everybody to um, make sure that their defense has to react to it and, and basically do it that way. Now there is another setup that I like as well and I'll just kind of show it to you real quick. All I'm gonna do here is do the same motion with this player. I'll put him on a hitch and then what I'll do with this A receivers, I'm actually gonna block him and I'm gonna do it like this. All this is gonna do is give you a little bit of a easy throw to the RB out of the backfield if they're playing any type of cloud flat type coverage. It gives you that Y right away if you want to hit a little bit of a hitch. So it's, it's got two hot routes with those two players. But then it also gives you the ability that if the user is just keying in on the X receiver, then you're going to be able to sneak this into the B. So say something like this where I'm just going to, you know, kind of mimic that the player is, is going to, um, you know, kind of cover the middle of the field, this X player. So I'm just going to put him on a hook curl. And what you'll see here is that this guy is going to be able to come through here and you're going to be able to throw that ball in that little spot. It's kind of a high low read with those players. If you see that the player goes ahead and does something like this where he puts the X on the middle third and he's going to try to cover underneath. Then what you're going to see here again, oh, I moved the guy the wrong way. We'll go ahead and, and change this up a little bit. Move this guy back. And what you'll see here is that you're going to be able to um, now really 
key in on um, the X receiver. So remember, the Y always needs to be um, to the left when you go ahead and motion him. And then what you'll see here is that if that's the case, the key on, on that player, now you're going to see that the X is still going to get open over the side here. So it's kind of one of those deals that you're going to have some great success when it comes to hitting that player to the right hand side. Um, and this is also one of those deals where, like I said before, if you just want to have a hot pattern, you can definitely throw it to the RB. Um, RB is going to be out of the backfield. You're not going to get a whole lot of yards, but you can definitely get some, you know, as you go ahead and hit them quickly because that player will kind of get pinched in. I'll show you here um, as the last uh, example here as far as what that player does if you hit him right. If you look at the left cornerback, what he does here is that he will pinch in just a little bit. See how it goes into the, in the middle because he's off of that um, chuck. Once he gets off that chuck, he takes a false step to the inside, falls right in the air, throw it to him, and you get yourself you know, five to seven yards. So this play is a really nice play to kind of set up the whole scheme, something that you use as your base play, only found in two playbooks, like I said earlier, Dolphins and the um, Steelers. So it is something that's kind of unique to the Steelers that not a lot of people will be running and wanted to jump off with this scheme, with this uh, setup to kind of really get things rolling. Now, if you like this video, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you check out these videos below for the most helpful Madden tips. If you're looking to learn from the best players in the world, head over to www.playbook.gg for the most detailed game plans in Madden.